Listen carefully. There's something that you absolutely have to understand that a lot of players are dropping the ball on, and I want you to get it, because I want you to thrive more than the others. See, here's the thing. Three things could happen during the Christmas break for you as a player, especially one in season. A, you could decline. B, you could sustain what you have. Or C, you could build. And a lot of players make that mistake of just declining and being lazy and sitting around. Now look, I'm not saying put up 500 job shots on Christmas Day. And maybe not even Christmas Eve. But what I am saying is this, your break is longer than two days. What are you doing about it? If you do nothing, you will decline. If you do the minimum, you might sustain, but you gotta look at it as an opportunity to build. Think about it. How many times in team practice have you had the chance to put up 600, 700 shots? or pound the ball 5,000 times over a week. You really don't get a chance to because you guys are working on X's and O's and press breaks and everything else. So with that being said, you gotta take advantage of that. Make a plan for how you are going to work out every day, keep your cardio up, and the other things that come along with that. Now, if you wanna know exactly what to work on, you've got two options. One, you can watch the video that I'm gonna send you tomorrow, which I encourage you to do. But what I really encourage you to do is to get to one of our Christmas camps. We have one the December the 28th, and we have one the first of the year. And you're saying, oh, well, the first of the year. Yes, the first of the year. You know why? We're trying to kick this year off the right way. We're trying to help a lot of players get better. And if you're in the gym with us, I promise you will be one of them. So again, look for that video tomorrow where I'm going to explain exactly what you need to work on during Christmas break. And in the meantime, hit the link next to me, and let's get you in camp as well.